Hello and welcome to the 19th Biennial Convention of the American Postal Workers Union. I'm Celeste Crenshaw. This program features daily highlights from the APWU Convention in Las Vegas, Nevada. In today's show, we'll preview the week's activities and hear about the important issues that will be discussed. We'll also meet APWU delegates from around the country. More than 3,000 postal workers have gathered in Las Vegas for the 19th Biennial Convention. The registration area was buzzing with activity as delegates picked up their convention packets and special blue APWU t-shirts. Members of the Las Vegas area local were proud to host their brothers and sisters from across the nation. Welcome to Las Vegas, ladies and gentlemen. And who are you guys? My name is Rich Perkins. I'm the craft director for Local 761. My name is Emmanuel Morris. I'm also a craft. I'm also a craft steward for uh, TTO, which is uh, transportation. Hi, my name is Janet Purnell. I'm co-chair of the 19th biennial APW convention. We would like to welcome you to Las Vegas. Uh, we are a very strong union town. We're all in union hotels, and we think this is very important for our convention. I can't forget where I'm from as well. I'm from the South Jersey area local, and we welcome you especially. Enjoy your convention this week, and have a great time. If there's anything we can do to help you, please contact us. The Biennial Convention gives APWU members an opportunity to discuss what is going on in their locals share strategies and plan for the future. And as APWU President William Burris explains, it's a great place for members to connect with their national officers. This is our engagement in the democratic process where postal workers, members of the American Postal Workers Union, uh, gather from all over the country to uh, exercise their input into the activities of their union. And they will set for us the leaders of the union, our priorities uh, for the coming period between conventions. We are truly a democratic union where our members are supreme. They have the absolute authority to decide uh, the decisions and the directions uh, of their organization. And this is our opportunity as leaders to listen, to hear from them what's on their mind, what are their objectives, uh, what are their ambitions, how do they wish us to proceed? On Monday, APWU delegates will welcome Bill Young, president of the National Association of Letter Carriers. It will be the first time the top leader of the NALC has ever addressed a postal worker convention. In July, the letter carriers invited President Burris to speak to their gathering, the first time an APWU president has ever spoken to NALC delegates. President Burroughs says it's an historic turning point for both unions. I uh, had the good fortune to be invited and the opportunity to accept and to be present at the National Association of Letter Carriers National Convention in Boston uh, last month. First uh, exchange of uh, speeches by either of the presidents to each other's conventions that ever occurred in the history of our unions. And we are the two largest postal unions in the world. And uh, it, cer it was uh, really uh, a mark on both of us to ignore the fact that uh, we mean so much to each other. We are negotiating with the same employer. Uh, we have the same concerns about our service to the public, that there are many activities we're engaged in that we have mutual interests, and not to exchange uh, certainly the presence of our presidents or leaders at each other's conventions, any large gathering of organizations. So cer certainly a, a dark mark on our history. But when I was invited, uh, I was proud to accept and was present at their convention and received very, very warmly by their delegates. Uh, they saw that I was just a human being, a leader of a, another union, had the same uh, directions and goals that uh, their leaders had expressed to them, and uh, we broke the ice. Uh, it was a momentous occasion, and it was very, very symbolic because a picture capturing us sharing the same stage, uh, even for the delegates, the postal employees that weren't present, uh, the visual 
of Bill Young and Bill Burris sharing the same stage will stand as a, a momentous uh, occurrence in the history of our unions. Uh, I don't know if it will lead beyond that. No, I certainly hope so because our Constitution has as its basic principle one postal union, all the unions merging together. So I don't know if this will lead in that direction or result uh, some time in the future that this is what uh, this led to, but uh, it's a step. And we can't reach that ultimate goal until we take many steps, and we've taken one now. Uh, he will speak at our convention. I hope that he's received as warmly as I was. The speech by NALC President Young is not the only new feature at this convention. The APWU also is holding special forums on political action, international postal issues, and affiliation with the AFL-CIO. APWU Secretary-Treasurer Terry Stapleton explains. Our convention uh, for years has been almost unchanging in terms of the topics discussed at the convention. We like to talk about the contractual issues and the day-to-day -day work environment that we face However, we have to, in addition to discussing those issues, expand our thoughts and our minds and our attention to those issues that face us throughout the country and throughout the world. And we hope that this convention will be a start by having these forums uh, for our delegates. We hope to educate them, uh, to put them in touch with other people throughout the world, uh, with other unions, so that they understand that this is a global crisis for all working men and women and that it is by us pulling together uh, here in this country, here in the whole global community of unionism, it's by us pulling together that we can succeed in maintaining a standard of living for working men and women that we demand and in order to attain it, achieve it, and hold on to it, it takes a global effort now. Because what affects the workers in Canada now affects the workers in the United States. What affects the workers in the United States now affects the workers in France. We're all intertwined and interconnected, and we hope that we can show our delegates just how important these issues are and how important it is for us to expand the, un the, the convention uh, and what is being addressed at the convention and what is being discussed at the convention. This spring, the National Executive Board voted to endorse Senator Barack Obama for president. On Wednesday, delegates will vote to make that endorsement official, and they will hear from the candidate via a live video feed. It promises to be one of the most exciting moments of the convention.